2010, once again, Miami, Florida, with the world famous Nina Harley. Hello, everybody. I'm here in Miami, South Beach, Miami. And I got to tell you, the flesh on parade outside is almost as outrageous as the flesh on parade inside. Oh, my God. Got to move to Miami and look at all the hot chicks. We're here with a living, living legend of the adult film industry. And now she's doing a series of, I guess you'd say, seminars of educational. Could you uh, tell us and fill some details on that? Well, um, I am a nurse, and so while I got into porno, because that's where the naked chicks were, hello, um, I love porn for that because they show up, they get naked, you have sex, they go home, and somebody else pays. It's like win, 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 win. It's fantastic. But I'm also a nurse, and so I want other people to have as much fun at sex as I do. And to do that, you have to have some education. What are the parts? Where are they located? What are they called? How do they work? As well as ideas for communication and what you can do in bed. Because sex is natural, but learning how to have sex is something that we learn how to do. Because the desire is natural, the impulse is natural, but to get good at it, you need some lessons. I concur. It, it is uh, fascinating that uh, you take such a thoughtful approach to this. Um, speaking of sex, what would be your all-time favorite sex act that you like? Fellatio is a top favorite. Cunnilingus, top favorite. Helping other people have sex, I like. I like being the helper to a couple. I find that totally hot, just like I'm a nurse. I like to help, you know, I like to help. A little rubbing, a little thising, a little thatting. So I like watching sex. I'm a big pervert. I'm a big voyeur. Um, I, li I like kinky sex. I like everything about sex as long as people are 18 and not drunk. I don't like sex with drunk people. Sorry. You can't, you know, drunk people are no good at sex and they're not going to remember me the next day and I want them to remember my ass, okay? Ass kicking, mind blowing. Uh do you, ever, do you have any fantasy that you've yet to fulfill or that is your favorite fantasy that you fulfill? A favorite recurring fantasy is um, having sex on the 50-yard line during the halftime of a 49ers game with it up on the Jumbotron. <laughs> but then there's that getting arrested problem and so I've never actually done it. But I was in Helsinki a few years ago at a sex expo there and I was dancing on the main stage. It was, it's uh, rock and roll or ice hockey, so with a giant stage with a jumbotron. So I didn't get to have sex on the jumbotron, but I got to use the dildo and watch myself giant. On the, that was fun. Um, so the closest I could get, but yeah, sex at halftime during a football game on the 50-yard line, not in the stands, not in the bleachers, not in the bathroom, as the halftime entertainment. That's fucking wild. I love it. <laughs> I, uh, I was kind of wondering, uh, the way the sex adult industry has changed, uh, one, do you think it's changed over the last couple of years for the better, or where do you see it going, or what do you like or dislike about the future, the way things over the last few years have uh, manifested? Um, it's a real mixed bag, i got to tell you. Um, in California, a report is legal to shoot. We are fighting now a uh, battle with the Occupational Safe, uh, Health and Safety Administration. Um, so now we're in the beginning process of the committee to look at what kind of official safety rules will be in place on porno sets. Until recently, it's like you shoot in someone's house and you get some towels and you go, I mean, no, no hint to safety at all except the testing. On the, the internet has been a real devil's bargain with porn because, yes, it brings it everywhere, but now it, it's also cheapened it. Piracy is killing the, the professional porn business. Piracy and the amateurs. Amateur porn is fine. If I shoot it for free and put it up on the internet for free, I'm fine with people watching it for free. But when they pirate movies um, of mine, then the company can't afford to hire me. So I'm being, all of us, not just me, all of us are slowly being forced into semi-retirement because a week before the movie's release, some guy in shipping gave the movie to a friend all of a sudden on 8 BitTorrent sites. So free porn is stolen porn. Free professional porn is stolen. And the more you steal, the less work there is for me, for Shayla, for Francesca, for Ginger, for anybody. So that's been a negative thing. On the positive side, 
marginalized groups like uh, gay youth and GLBT youth in Podunk can go online and find other people like themselves. That's the benefit, so you don't feel that you're the only one like you in Podunk. Because if you're in the big city and you're a GLBT youth, there's plenty of resources. If you're in Podunk, zero resources. So that, it's a real mixed bag. It's been a devil's bargain. Overall, I think the internet's been, the internet's been bad for the profitability of porn. From 95 to 2000, porn on the internet, hand over fist money. And then it became everywhere. And now, like everything, money on the internet, down. Um, and that's all there is to it. We feel for you. We, uh, that's uh, awesome. You do a great interview. And could you give a shout out to the fans for the Screamin' Sam show? Nina Hartley. I'm Nina Hartley, and you're watching the Screamin' Sam show. And you can see me at nina.com and sexwise.tv.